So the material we've been working on for a while is what we call bouncy bioglass. Uh, bouncy bioglass is a uh, is sort of flexible, more elastic version of, uh, of bioglass. And the idea is we want to be able to make scaffolding materials, like the one behind me, uh, into uh, that, that can actually share load with the host tissue. And uh, so bioglass is a is known for its ability to stimulate bone growth, and uh, but of course it's a brittle uh, brittle glass. So we started working on these materials in trying to just impart some flexibility and and ability to take cyclic load, uh, but try and maintain all the properties of bioglass. Um, um, after a decade or so of working on that, we actually made a, a material that was so flexible we thought it would actually be good for cartilage regeneration. So um, in order to make a suitable scaffold, we, we, did, we, was, we did 3D printing. And uh, when we tested it with cartilage cells, we found that when we 3D printed channels of a certain size, the cartilage cells actually laid down high quality articular cartilage matrix rather than uh, the usual scar tissue matrix. So the application for this material is... Um, is, um, is well, in clinical use at the moment, surgeons use a process called microfracture, where they um, dig into the underlying bone of the damaged cartilage, release the stem cells, and those stem cells um, produce some cartilage. Unfortunately, that cartilage is scar-like cartilage rather than um, rather than high-quality articular cartilage. So when we created the scaffolds of the right pore channel size, so they literally look like the one behind me, when we had a 250 micron uh, pore channel size, the stem cells, um, when we cultured stem cells in, in, in the scaffolds, we found the stem cells were promoted down the articular cartilage route in that they formed chondrocytes, which then produced uh, cartilage matrix, but there was a high proportion of uh, collagen type two matrix. And, uh, and, rather than collagen type one. So collagen type two is the sort of extracellular matrix of, um, is, 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 a, is highly prevalent in the extracellular matrix of articular cartilage, whereas uh, collagen type one you see in fibro cartilage and also, of course, bone matrix and other tissues as well. Uh, so once we um, once we um, done those in, in vitro studies, uh, we actually tested it in a large animal study in, in vivo and um, our early results show that we've got organized cartilage formation. Uh, we haven't yet quantified um, the, the relative ratio of collagen type 2 to collagen type 1 yet. Uh, 